Welcome everybody. We have our first ever vlog on the Richie the Barber channel. I'm so excited. I'm here at Granada Square Barbers. I got Richie's car behind me right now. I told him last week, I was like, dude, I'm taking you on a date. We're going to the movies today. We're going to go see Domino Revival. We're going to go ahead and do a little review. We're going to go in. Hopefully we can sneak you guys in, sneak the camera in. I know they're kind of weird about recording a movie, so we're going to try, but let's go surprise Richie and let's take him on this date. Let's go. Our first ever vlog, bro. Whoa, are you ready for the first ever vlog ever? Dude, we're about to go on this date, bro. Let's go, let's go. We're, we're hitting the movies together. Are we're you doing ready? it. I'm ready. Yeah, guys, go ahead and check out Richie. Come get a haircut. Like, he's always posting his stuff. He's, you guys know where he's at. Come down to Anaheim and uh, and come get a haircut. All right, Richie, tell us about your shirt real quick, bro. Check that thing out. Bro, I just got these new shirts. Demon Slayer. Demon Richie Slayer, Lombardi. baby. What's up? Get it, get it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm about to ride in the Richie Mobile for the first time. I don't even know what to expect. There's going to be some chickens in there. Hey, there's going to be some bunnies in here, dude. Bro, watch out for the bunnies. Oh, my gosh. Watch out for the bunnies. We just learned that I have a, I have a bunny phobia, bro. bro we're All gonna... Richie all Richie sends me now is bunny videos. Yeah, but they're so cute. Oh my god. We got confirmation right here. We got our movie tickets right here. We're on our way. Whoa, snap. We're on oh, our sorry. way. <laughs> Let's check out these. I should I don't know if I should pull out these knives as we're driving. Watch out, dude. Are they really sharp? Uh this dog, yeah. Dang. Yeah. Woo! I mean you can probably stab something with it. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Joey called me. <laughs> He wants me to preach, bro. Bro, preach it, preach it. Dude, tell tell our people what would you called me today. I was like, you want me to preach? He said. Well, I was like, hey, guess what? And he's like, what? Well, somebody told me to call you. He's like, who? And I was like, Pastor Joey, he wants you, he wants you to preach at the church on Tuesday, tomorrow night. And you go, what, what, what? <laughs> tomorrow night, I gotta get more prepared. I'm like, well, I thought you said that you're ready. The Holy Spirit just <laughs> sends you the words and you just gave it a holy fire. That's what he told me on, on the podcast, right? This is Manny, right? <laughs> Manny's like, I don't really need prepared. You know, I, I always memorize I'm ready it. to go. I'm ready to go. I don't so, have no written questions. Yeah, that's yeah, Manny. That's man. <laughs> oh, hey, I got this, you know? I got this, I'm made for this. And then, yeah, he's made for it, right? That's Manny. And then, <laughs> Dad, and then I was like, guess what? Guess what Pastor Joy wants you to send, full send. He wants you to speak deliverance. <laughs> Amen. Huh? So guys, I am gonna be speaking soon. I I just wanna go. I wanna go first and Tomorrow just, like, night, right? take a part, be a part of the service. I don't wanna just go and just preach and just I don't know, I just don't like those type of people, man. What like I've just had experience like I don't know, I don't wanna come across like oh they only come around just to preach. Like I really like care what you guys are doing there. Like I just wanna take part no, of the service, you know what I'm saying? We know you're married, okay? Who well, else for one? Having a baby. You're having a baby, you got yeah. a new house, you got the transition to a big, big Big, big, you guys, a big church. Now Dude. you guys are a mega church. You went, bro. I went and I cried again. Dude, tell me it didn't take you like three hours to get there. It was oh, amazing. There's three accidents. Oh the my there. gosh. There was, yeah, there was actually three But it's not, that's not the point. The point was we wanted to go and see, and I didn't even know it was your dad's birthday. It was. I, I was going to bring a cake if I knew, but, uh, yeah. We had, had some donuts. donuts yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I ate their donuts. I got caught going in there because I didn't know it was for afterwards. I thought it was just, you know, there was nobody around. So like, I, peeked, I peeked in and this girl, this lady's like, what are you doing? I was like, what? And she was like, those are for after the service. And I was like, oh. No and way. I patted it. She goes, that's right. Go back. Go back to your seat. Dude, and I was like, funny. Okay. God is definitely moving. And he, God wants you to preach hey. at, at our church. Dude. And Joey's like, he's like, man, I love Manny. This is Joey, right? I love Manny. Manny is so on fire for the Lord. He needs to preach at the church. They need to hear his voice. Dang. Not only on the podcast, but in person and on live. It's going to be everything. So if you guys are watching, you, and you want to see Manny doing the Holy Fire, well, sorry, you're going to have to watch it live on YouTube. But <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you guys know it wouldn't be the Richie Mobile without a whole bag of confetti. This is crazy. This is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Who carries just a bad confetti? Of course, they might Richie. Like you. Man, man, he's funny. Huh? Guys, join the Patreon because you can get an official Richie the Barber mini hat, dude. And then how about the Holy Nope, dude? The Holy Nope, dude. He's like he's shut down at this point. What like, happened, dude? On the last comment he posted it, and he's just like, God bless you, Richie. He like, wait. I feel like that was like his white flag. Like, I don't want no more wait, smoke. Wait, wait, what? That's all he said. That's all he said. Yeah, dude. No. You didn't see. He's like, God bless you, Richie. <laughs> 
<laughs> on the video you tagged him in, dude. Oh, the last one? He didn't like respond. He just put, God bless you, Richie. You can't respond. I'm like, dude, don't mess with us over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't mess with us, dude. We're over here doing the Lord's work, um, man. So we were, we were at the gym last night. And, um, and so no, since I've been saved, nobody comes up to me. I'm being serious. Like, everybody used to come up to me all the time. Everybody, hey, what's up, Richie? What's up? All these people, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the only people who come up to me are, like, the religious or they're curious. Mm. Like, that's it. So this guy hear a voice go, hey, 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 you. Like that. So I turn around, and, and I'm looking, <laughs> like, dead in his eyes, like he's across the way. And I go, hey, what's up? And, and, I, and like, he was like, uh, hey. And I'm like, oh, here it goes. I already knew him all. It's going down. It's going down. Yeah, yeah. So he comes up to me and goes, uh, Hey, so I, I saw your Beyonce video. Oh, dang. Like, she's demonized, right? And I'm all, demons are real. Mm. Just like me and you are talking right now. And he goes, what? I'm all, demons are real, bro. And Jesus is real. How do you feel about Jesus? Do you believe he's real? Wow. He goes, uh, um, uh, you know, um, I have my mixed feelings about this and that. And, you know, so we're talking about, like, demons and stuff. And we're talking about how they're amongst, uh, they're everywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah. So then Jen comes up and she goes, she, her face is like shocked about us ta you know, talking to this guy about Jesus, you know? Mm. So I just thought. He's like in his 20s. Yeah, he's young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't believe in coincidences, bro. This is a divine moment right now. I believe that Jesus is calling you and there's a reason why you're, you saw that. Now you see me at your gym. Mm. I'm at your gym now. God is saying, hey, I'm here. I'm speaking to you, right? Yeah. I was like, can I pray for you? And he goes, yeah. So I'm always go outside. So we go outside, and I'm going to put out your hands. And I'm like, say, repeat after me. I believe in you, Jesus. I, I want to uh, I wanna receive you into my heart. I, I forgive myself. I forgive everybody that hurt me. I want to repent for my sins. Uh, you know, and I was just going through the routine, you know. And I'll fill, fill you up with the Holy Spirit. And then I pray the Holy Spirit to enter within him. And I feel like he got wrecked, right? Well, you think just, you can physically see like a demon? Like in physical form? The whole, like, the whole, not a human? Yeah. I like haven't a seen creature. one. I haven't seen yeah, one do you yet. Think you, can, do you, you think you can? You think you can? I've yeah. seen two shapeshifters, so yeah. Dude, one time my mom said that her and her, and her sisters were, they were little, they were at their house, and they were getting into, like, a big old fight, right? And they were in their, one of their rooms, and then they said they they heard, like, something in the closet. This is no joke. My mom does, like, not lie at all. Like, she's like, we heard something in the closet, and we just, like, heard some racket, so we all got scared and kind of, like, hugged each other because they were, like, fighting, but then they, like, they heard something, so they got scared, and they said all of a sudden, the, the closet was a little bit open and a chicken looking foot no. popped out what? and then it went right back in the closet and they freaked out and so they ran and they're like I guess my grandma wasn't home or whatever so then they're like we gotta go back and see like is there like an animal in there or something they look in the whole place the whole room the whole closet nothing was there but she swore like she for sure saw like this like chicken foot that like popped out like as they were fighting as we level up I think that you know, this is towards the end times. Yeah, anything is possible. Yeah. So, like, you know, and there's a lot of things going on right now. And, uh, you know, there are unexplained, identified, you know, entities that are in, like, Vegas. They're, they captured them on, you know, like, cameras and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that's crazy. So, I mean, and people say they're aliens, but... Yeah. They're demons, bro. Yeah. I, I, I'm down to see one. I'm down to see one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be like, probably smack it around a bunch of times, yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. grabbing a demon and just slapping the heck out of him. I would. I'd be like, Jesus, damn. That really like stood out to you. Yeah, that's a big one. Like or a couple or what was like. All right, so the suicide thing because like, you know, like I, I, um, my daughter, um, she, she experienced her friend a mm. suicide, mm. and her friend was only thirteen years old, right? 
So to have my daughter not understand what like death is and why, why does this happen, dad? Mm-hmm. Why does this happen? Mm-hmm. So like when they're talking about suicide, it's real. Yeah. You know, and then one of our friends, I'm not going to say who it is, but one of our friends, he committed suicide. Oh, really? And my friend went in the room and saw him by the neck. There's a lot of people that a lot of people that I know are surrounded by suicide mm-hmm. yeah. and it is a real thing. Yeah. You know? Have you ever like personally like yourself? Have you ever No, I never, never thought about it? I'm I'm scared of death. Mm-hmm. So I never was suicidal. Mm-hmm. Which is like, you know, a lot of people are like, really? Yeah. Like I'm like, nah. Like I had a girlfriend too. A girlfriend one time and I caught her um like she told me many times, she's like I'm gonna die at twenty. I'm gonna die at uh, twenty-three. I'm like, get out of here! Stop! Stop! What are you talking about? What is, really? What? Mm-hmm. And I'm like trying to convince her. And I wasn't saved back then, but I was trying to convince her why life is good. Why? Why is? Why just give up? You know, mm-hmm. you're young and all this stuff, right? Well, she she did it. She killed herself. Killed herself. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I wasn't like dating her a long time, but yeah. like, you know, years later, I got the the message. Say hey, you want to go to the funeral? I was like, wow. nah, I didn't go to the funeral. Mm. I don't want to be that guy. Oh, there's a boyfriend. Mm. You know, that one of the ex boyfriends over there. You know. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, there's a lot of. It's a serious thing, you know. I I don't understand it because you know I I'm too I'm too afraid to do that stuff. I don't yeah. I would never do that, you know. But I mean, um, you know, I've experienced like you know drugs and, and depression, so mm. it's it's like. Yeah, you know, it's right there. You know, those are hand in hand. Yeah, but I never would be like, ah, let's just let's ah, off myself. You know. Yeah. So that that really uh, spoke to me, and then um, the persecution part. Dude, yeah. You know, I mean, when they're talking about like you know, so like you know the death threats and all that stuff with like, you know, the persecution and like mm-hmm. you know what we're getting it right now. Yeah, you know, from and, the church, from the world, from everybody, from the world, dude. everybody. Yeah, and from all sides. Yeah, my mom was like, she, you know, we had coffee with, with mom, right? Mm-hmm. And she was like saying, like, Richard, when you got hooks in your back and you're suspended by hooks, what? no yeah. one said anything. No one said anything bad. When you got your face tattooed, nobody wow. said anything bad. You know, you. Were, I'm a yeah. mom. I was in the world, so I'm trying yeah. to tell my mom, like, why, you know, like, why is this happening? Well, mm-hmm. mom. Mm-hmm. It's happening because the, the enemy wants to shut me up. The enemy wants me to stop what I'm doing. She's so going to try everything it can to shut me up That's or it. slow me down. But I will not be slowed down. And my voice will not be, not, you know. Quiet. Quiet, yeah. Come on, Thanks, bro. Baby. Thank you. Dang, that was like yeah. a tag team right there, boom, dude. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I, well, I can't be quiet. I can't. But I can't. Good. Like, there's, there's moments where I, you know, she knows. I'm like, I'm like. I don't really want to tower now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, take a little step back, a little mm-hmm. breather. Now I get back and fight. Boom, you know? I'm like, I, I'm not a post anymore. I'm not a post anymore. I'm yeah. like, you can't yeah. shut me up. You yeah. Know? So. Last week, dude, you were kind of like, because you were pretty bummed. Oh, Instagram and tell? everything. You you're just tell? like, dude, I don't know if I'm going to post anymore. I was like, no, nah, dude, we got to keep it going, keep man. Keep it going, dude. Yeah. I know it's hard, though. It was though. up and down. It was yeah. up and down for him, yeah. Yeah, it was. But he kept yeah. making videos. And yeah. He's like, they're ready. They're ready for when I can. <laughs> it's ready, she dude. Knows. <laughs> you got them ready just to fire them off. Well, this is what it means to be steadfast. Like, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like this. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. like, you know? Yeah. Like, let's go head on because you just know, that, like, you know the life. Oh, I know the life that I used to be in is like, I, I will never, I never want to be there. That's a nightmare. It's a nightmare to go backwards. And then if I did give up, which is I wouldn't, yeah. then they'd be like, ha ha, I yeah. told you. Oh, you're, yeah. hey, what's your, yeah. what's your Christian? Yeah. What do you got in your hand? You got yeah. a shot of whiskey? What's Ooh. right here? You got some drugs, man. Oh, you got a little something in your nose. Yeah. Wait, I thought you, oh, I thought you Christian. Dang. Oh, you know, yeah. they're, they're waiting for that. Oh, they're waiting. They're waiting for that. Yeah. But it will never happen, bro. Yeah. What about you? What is the, the one thing? They're pointing to you. I think for me, like, I mean, obviously the movie's called The Domino Revival, and he kept saying how there's, like, it's like a domino effect, right? One hits the other, and hits the other, and it just goes. And I'm like, dude, like, even just this year, like, meeting you, bro, like, we barely met this year. Yeah. Like, meeting you earlier this year, getting on the thing, all the, like, it's yeah. just, like, happening to see your transformation, to see, like, everything that God's doing with us. Like, it's just, it's barely starting, you know? And I don't know, dude, like, I saw I saw you a lot in that movie. Me? Yeah. Who's that? I'm like, dude, what? your story, like, you, they could have put you in that movie, bro. Stop. Like, bro. The, the, the stories that you have, the persecution, the this, oh, the that, wow. God radically changing your life. Like, dude, it's only the start, dude. It's only the start. And that's yeah. what they kept saying, like, it's only the start. Like, they're all going to start falling you know 
and um, it's just it's crazy, bro. It's happening. Yeah. You know the social media, mm-hmm. like they're they're hitting it head on. Yeah. Okay, okay, yo, you want to try to stop us at the beach? Mm-hmm. You want to try to arrest us? Yeah, well, we're going online. Yeah, we're going online. You know. Yeah, and we're speaking the truth, and we're we're you know this is what we're doing. Yeah. So that that's cool too. That they're like we're online and we're gonna hit the masses, mm-hmm. and that to me is like God is having His word yeah. spoken. What did it say? Like. At all amongst all nations will know his voice he'll know his voice. Yeah. Every, everybody's gonna hear. Yeah. Everybody's gonna know who he is. And he's pouring out his spirit. And spirit, then, yeah. dude, I like when he was just like when he talked about like, you know, and we talked about this, like God uses the foolish things. That's what Joyce is about the wise. Like it's true. Joyce is about like me. we're like nobody's telling you know, telling everybody about somebody, like, you know? Uh-huh. Like you dude, who would have thought God would have used you, bro? Like oh, dude. you know what I'm saying? Like Bro, I I didn't think like me, I was like like you know, it was in my head, like, you know, yeah, we were older. Yeah, you know, when I'm older and stuff, I got I got a lot of stuff. I, got, I was selfish. Mm. I was selfish, bro. I was like, yeah, yeah you know, maybe when I'm like done, like touring, doing my own <laughs> stuff, and like, yeah. you know, when I get, you know, maybe like there's no thought of like marriage. Sorry, baby. There's no thought of like. <laughs> it's true. You know, yeah. Like you know, like I never thought I didn't. Yeah. You know? Like I thought maybe it'd be possible, but mm-hmm. then, you know that that um. You know, the enemy was telling me horrible things like, yep. ah, you're just a drug addict, alcoholic. There's no way. There's no way. And yeah. I kept on putting it in my head like, mm-hmm. I, I, only, I only date crazy girls. Mm-hmm. I only date crazy girls, you know? So then. You have a book about it, dude. I know. Like, you were like, yeah. you were stuck on that. I was going to write a second one, like, before. About and like, God's just like, nope. Well, back in the days it was, yeah. But, he, just, yeah. he grabbed you, dude. He saved you. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's and look at your life right now, dude. You're about to get married next year. Better, like, you guys yeah. are like, dude, oh, get it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you're just a changed guy, yeah, dude, yeah. and it's just so amazing what God's doing, dude. And it's like their story, like I love what they said. It's not about a one man show. Like you know, there's certain famous people, and but it's like yeah. it, it's happening everywhere, dude. Like dude, maybe everywhere. we don't have a big movie about it, but we're experiencing it, dude. We're experiencing deliverance. You guys are seeing it on Tuesdays. Uh, we're experiencing like growth at our church. Like God's doing it even within us, dude. Yep. Like it's happening. D- deliverance. Yeah, like, bro. I'm like, telling you right now, bro. I'm telling you right now. The, the guy, this guy, messaged me. Right? He messaged me out of nowhere. He's like, hey. I, I, the guy told me that I, I should mail you this book. Oh, and yeah. And then he mailed me the book. It's in my car. I, I haven't wrote it, read it yet, but, like, mm. it's about prophetic. And I'm, like, I've been desiring to, to be prophetic and want to be prophetic. So it's just it's just interesting how, like, you know, like, God's like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to reunite with this church. Like, like, I never thought that, you know. Yeah. So we got this church. We're, we're going together. Mm-hmm. And now we're, you know, Joey's like, I want you to preach at our church. Oh, Like, man. how cool is that? Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? For and then sure. your dad, uh, 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 Thursday. Oh, yeah. Bro, he pulled me aside. You mm-hmm. weren't there. And he was all happy. He's like, man, like, he's, he's like, I'm so happy I'm watching the show. What you're doing with, with my son is amazing. Like, Dude, Luke was know? just at our church on Sunday. And he was just like, dude. I'm so glad the direction of the new show. He's what? like, I, I, you could, said that? I couldn't watch the last. I I st- had to stop watching. What'd you say? I was like, dude. I mean, I I well, you know yeah, yeah. I could figure you know, but I was just like, wow. Like, how did it make crazy. you feel? I mean, it makes you feel good, right? Because you have so much stuff, so much comments all the time, yeah. and it's just like when people are like, "Dang, I love the new direction." It's just like it's a it's blessing, a relief. dude. It's a relief, yeah. yeah, it's like. Do you it's a think blessing. like like I know it's, it's hard right now to? Oh, I mean, I just want all these comments to go away, but like. You know, yeah. Are we gonna make that breakthrough? Yeah. What, what is this gonna be? What's that? What's that episode? What are they gonna see? That they're like, all right, yeah. these guys like, are wow, great. like, yeah. or not even that. Just like, like God just like hit them in the face. Yeah. Like they're gonna to, see it, like, dude. Some, some, maybe yeah. there's some, someone we're talking about. Yeah. Someone yeah. we're gonna talk about, and it's gonna hit people, and they're be like, come on now. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm for this. Yeah. I'm for this. Yeah. Or maybe we're gonna get even more fire. Yeah. Like even more crazier. Yeah. Than, you know. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. We got to be ready for it. But like we talked about, dude, like persecution, like, dude, there's people that have been tortured to death for for Christianity. Yeah. There's people that have seen their whole family slaughtered in front of them. Like, Bro. you know what I'm saying? They've, they've, and then us, our persecution, social media. That's funny how, like, you know what, what I'm saying? With you? And, up there, I got <laughs> yeah, we're just like, we got blocked, you know, or we got deleted for a week. That for the, yeah. yeah. And we talked about that. And it's just yeah. like, dude, what's like, Really, uh, we don't have it that bad, dude. No, we, don't. we don't. I mean, it's tough. It's tough, you know. It's tough, and I hope people yeah. like, like you said, will see, you know, the consistency. We'll see but the change. But even if they don't, but if they don't, we're still here, dude. We're still here. We're still good. We're living in Orange why County, are we still here? LA. Like, why, dude, tell them why we're still we're here. We're in paradise, bro. Why are we still here? Why dude. are we on the show? 
Like, what is it? What is this, what is it for the show? Yeah, tell them I mean, right God's now, man. Doing it, man. Tell them right now. What's what's this, what's the purpose for the show, dude? The purpose of the show to give all glory and honor to God That's right. and see people's lives changed, set free, and delivered, bro. Amen. It's crazy. Yeah. This is our first vlog, guys. We encourage you guys to keep supporting the channel, subscribing. Uh, we have so much more coming. We want to do some street stuff. We want to go possibly to Hollywood, Richie's old stomping ready, ground, bro, ready, and just dude. do street interviews, talk to people about Jesus, like yeah. just ask questions. Who knows what's gonna happen? I'm excited for that though. But the but revival is real. It's, it's like, real. Like, watch that. Yeah. The revival is so real. Yeah. And it's moving. Dude. And I love how he said it started. It's like in Huntington Beach, dude. And that's oh, where you're at right now. Like, oh, it's true. It's right here, dude. It's in our backyard. It's true. It's it. It's time. It's revival, baby. Let's do it, bro. Let's go. Uh -huh. Vlog number one. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Peace to out. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus loves you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, imagine, like, you get in the, Oh, I won't say that. But imagine if there was ever it could be an accident, and then these things go through you like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> Damn, bro! Look at that.